certain things that you don't feel the Lord can forgive you for, you're not beyond the, the reach of God's hand. You're not beyond the reach of God's voice. You're watching this program today because God is drawing you back not to a church, not to a denomination or, or an organization, not even to this ministry. God is drawing you to himself. And when you get in the presence of the Lord, a lot of the things that are so troublesome in this life will fade away. In, 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 in retrospect, the, the, the focus, when the focus is on the Lord, when the disciples went up to that Mount of Transfiguration there, Matthew 17, all of a sudden the focus was on the Lord and the voice of the Father. It wasn't on Peter. It wasn't on James and John. It wasn't on anything else that was going on. It was on Jesus. It says they saw Jesus only. Hallelujah. And you need to put your eyes and your focus, your gaze, your vision back upon the Lord Jesus Christ. People have disappointed you. There's somebody watching me right now. There's several people watching right now that people have so disappointed you and people have so hurt you and so wounded you. Like we were talking uh, to our brother about people stabbing him in the back, people saying things against him, people writing him nasty emails, etc. But what did he do? He responded in love. See, when, when something comes against you, you'll get either bitter or you'll get better. You'll either use it as a stumbling block where you stumble over it and fall flat on your face or you use it as a stepping stone to get closer to God. But I'm just encouraging you through the testimony that we've heard from our, our brother here and through this program and through the drawing power of the Holy Spirit, just respond to the Spirit's wooing. The Holy, it's the Holy Spirit that is drawing you back to the Lord Jesus Christ today. And just respond to that. Don't, you, don't, don't reject it. Don't reject what God is doing in your life right now. Just respond. Drop to your knees. Just uh, pray in your heart where you're, you are right now. And as you just, are, as our brother said, are sorry for what you've done, God will restore him unto yourself and you'll feel that presence of God. There's nothing like being at peace with God. There's nothing like being able to lay down at night and know that you're at peace with God and every other human being. Oh, other people might want to be enemies with you, but you're not their enemy. And the Bible says if, if your ways please the Lord, even your enemies will be at peace with you. Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. So as uh, my brother uh, Rick Jordan, as God was moving you in this ministry, um, how, how did it it's, uh, all of a sudden, or not all of a sudden, but over a period of time, just seem to explode from what I'm hearing? It seems like God is adding more. Um, is that just an arbitrary thing? Does God just say, oh, well, I, I like the way uh, Rick Jordan looks. I like that mustache. I like that beard. He combs his hair real neat. I'm just going to bless that guy. I mean, is it an arbitrary thing on God for God to favor somebody with the accountability and the responsibility that you have? To me, this seems like an awesome responsibility to have all these ministries, in a sense, under your covering. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm amazed myself <laughs> that uh -huh. God would choose me uh, because uh, I always said it when I was younger that I would never live past 21. Uh, I was just a crazy person. I was doing a lot of stupid things and... Uh, I was the, t the guy riding down Vets Highway going 80 miles an hour and just <laughs> doing donuts for no reason, you know, just for fun. Uh, I, I hung out with a guy called Crazy John, uh -huh. and he was my best friend. Uh, his room was painted black, and he had the gun by the door, and he said nobody would take him alive. Mm. So you just have to realize that yeah. I came from dark, Darkness. very, very, very dark, mm. and I came into the light. And um, God has just done some mighty things. I would say that this ministry has grown. Um, uh, it started out, the second program I started uh, uh, producing was called Doers of the Word. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord gave me that name many, many years what, ago. What year was that? Uh, let's see, we've been doing that for over six years now. Six years. About okay. six and a half years we've okay. been doing Doers of the Word. And that's with uh, two wonderful people, uh, Gus and Gloria Shuck from uh, yes. Jesus Alive. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was supposed to go to the Coliseum when they had their birthday party mm -hmm. in the year 2000. Right. 
uh, they had a birthday party for Jesus and yeah. 14,000 people.